Imagine lanes on our local highways with no speed limits. You can go as fast as your heart desires. The idea comes from one state senator. And tonight his plan is sparking a strong reaction. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't uh, considered what, how crazy a lane with no speed limit might be. It's a good question. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Sacramento with more on this whole proposal. Macy? Well, Sharon and Tony, this would be a first in 60 years for California, a lane with no limit, drivers going as fast as they can, and the whole idea is to cut down on time spent idling out on the road. What do you do when you see this? I put stuff in the GPS just to, you know, see if there's a quicker route. Another holiday bottleneck. Freeways are congested. It's just a havoc. And this President's Day lived up to its bad reputation with bumper to bumper traffic on the roads. It's like a California Groundhog Day, just sitting in traffic with my car idling. But Senator John Murlock says you're just emitting greenhouse gases, and that's bad for the environment. So, what's the solution? Well, his bill said add two new lanes on the highway with no speed limit. Very interesting. But just how would that work? You're burning the fuel efficiently as opposed to just sitting in slow traffic waiting for one truck to pass another truck for 20 minutes. Orange County Senator John Morlock wants to see two lanes on each side of both I-5 and Highway 99 from Bakersfield to Stockton and no 65 mile per hour limit would apply. If you look at what's happening in Germany, the, the, the freeway accidents on the Autobahn are a lot less than what's happening on our roads. And he says this plan is more realistic than a high speed rail still years away from being built. So why don't we provide people with vehicles the opportunity just to drive at 100 miles an hour and get to San Francisco in a shorter period of time than the train would. First thought, what do you think? How much is that going to cost to do? That seems like it's a little too sweet to be real. Morlock doesn't have a price tag just yet. We've already paid for the right of way. We don't have to buy that. So now it's just how much per mile is the concrete going to cost? For now, it seems he needs to get drivers revved up about the idea. Yeah, no, too much for Californians to be able to handle. Now, Morlock says there are still several issues to discuss, including whether or not there would be a minimum speed limit on the highway. You can join in on the conversation and read more about the bill on our CBS 13 Facebook page. Macy, I mean, Macy's, thank you. That's how you make it through the <laughs> carpool lane. We now know the trick. Great job, thanks. After hitting snow.